So what did you all expect was gonna happen? I pity, and it's kind of funny uh, reading all the posts, the previous posts about how Francis Ngannou will run through boxing and boxers, it'll be the greatest man that ever lived across all martial arts. It was funny then, and it's more funny now. The same people are either hiding or making excuses, uh, pretending that they know that this is gonna happen all along. Just because his previous boxing fight, which was not the first by the way, a lot of people, Francis fanboys, try to make it that he never boxed, this is his first boxing, which is incorrect. Before MMA, he used to box, look it up, and even during MMA, boxing is a fundamental part of MMA training, so it's not like he's some guy off the streets and came to fight uh, for uh, the title, which is in itself a bad thing. The guy did not deserve it, switched to boxing and is fighting Tyson. This is comical. The guy did not deserve it, he got a free fight, free spot to the top, which he took spots from other fighters. I know that Tyson has his shenanigans of not fighting Contender. And if you really technically look at it, he made people lose money. Now enough about the history. Anthony Joshua destroyed Francis within the first two rounds. Uh, literally every punch he connected, Francis fell down. And this brings us to another topic. People used to say he has insane chin. He really was never hit clean in MMA. The only punch that hit him clean was by Majocic in his second fight and he got wobbled. So... I don't know if his chin is shot or he never had a great chin to begin with, but literally every shot that connected to his face, he fell down. And I know this is heavyweight and there are no such a thing as great chins, but it is what it is. And his MMA fights, I used to say this before, all of the guys that he really knocked out quickly were either past their prime or had stupid game plan running towards him with their chins up. Perfect opportunity. Now the moment we see someone that is technical and takes him seriously this is the result and tyson i admit took him not serious did not even maybe train just rolled off the couch and went there thinking he will make easy work of francis francis hits hard he's gifted physically but everybody goes down in heavyweight once they get hit clean and francis as much as his fanboys uh, pretended is no exception now that we can put this nonsense aside that he will run through boxing and whatnot. He should not have another boxing fight against top contender. Stop taking spots, go back to MMA or start legit climbing the ladder in boxing. And I know that he's not young whatnot, but what can we do? Enough about that. He was given a free fight against Tyson and once a serious boxer takes him seriously, hungry boxer, this is the result. He was put on oxygen max, something he could not do in MMA to others. Imagine what others will do to him. So enough of this gifted miracle, let him fight like everybody else. He basically got the CM Punk treatment, although he's nothing like CM Punk. He's more gifted and has more talent than that bum, but undeserved fights is undeserved. And as much as you want to talk about his history and how he's a good guy, a lot of people had sad bad history he's no exception i'm sorry god bless him all the best to him but enough using his backstory to get him free stuff either go back to mma and find legit contenders and i'm once again i would like to say that i personally and a lot of people scored him losing his last mma fight against game he got outclassed on the feet and took him down and basically blanketed him in order to score a win but that's a topic we already covered. So, in my opinion, I'm not just... It's not that I'm happy. Oh, he got crushed in boxing. Everybody saw this coming. If a boxer takes uh, his opponent serious, professional boxer, Floyd toyed with Conor. Everybody know that. And Tyson did not take him serious. But this guy, Joshua, came in, did the job within two rounds, cleanly destroyed him. It's not like one-shot fluke and whatnot. Enough of giving him free stuff in boxing. Go to MMA. He was a legit champion in MMA, I cannot say anything about that, but enough is enough. And hope his fanboys now calm down about this fantasy that he will dominate in every sport he goes into. And yes, he may destroy Joshua in MMA, but Joshua still has his hands in MMA, so it's not like 100% as 
his fans now try to claim like okay let Joshua come to MMA and see what happens so anyway let me know in the comment section what you think about this great fight on all can't say I was surprised but the way he destroyed him and how fast he destroyed him uh, was kind of a little bit shocker even though like I said everybody expected a professional boxer who's hungry and takes his opponent serious will do this to him Joshua did what Tyson should have done and enough about this circus. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you in my next video.